Hey friends, my name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Parma, Michigan, and today we're gonna to talk about something that's really, really, really tricky as a classroom teacher with a classroom library, and that is how do we manage checking in and out books? You ready? Let's go. I can't think of anything that people ask me more when it comes to my classroom library, then how do you check out books? Like, how do you manage these 3,000 plus books that are behind me? Like, how do I manage making sure they come in and making sure they're out into the hands of my readers? What do I do? I've tried a ton of different things. I'm gonna tell you about those first, then I'm gonna tell you about the system that works for me now. And what I wanna say more than anything else is you have to do what works for you. You don't need to do what works for me. You don't need to do what works for somebody else. You don't need to do anything except what works for you. And more importantly, what works best for your students? Like what can you and your students agree that works best to make sure that kids are reading books and that books are getting back to kids? Uh, the very first system that I tried, I believe came from Nancy Atwell in the Reading Zone. And it was, I had like one of those index card holders and in it I had each index card with each kid's name and I would write uh, like in alphabetical order and they would write down the book that they would check out. And when they returned it, we would cross that off, check out, write it, cross it off, and we tried that system. The second system that we tried was very similar. I had a bulletin board with all of the kids' names on an index card, and they would check it out, and we weren't flipping through, and, and but then like some kids are tall and some kids are short, so but we tried that system, that was system number two. Classroom library checkout system number three, basically the same thing, but in a notebook, kid's name, write down, cross out, check out, check in. System number four was the last year I taught in Battle Creek, Michigan. The classroom library was getting big and my principal was trying to think of a way to make sure that the books that the school was buying and helping me provide for my students were getting back. So what we did was we uh, bought one of those scanners, like library librarian scanners, and the library aide at that school put every single book in my classroom into the system. And each day, at the end of each day together with the kids, a, a student's job was to check out books using that. And we then we would have like a milk crate sitting off to the side where kids could return books. And then someone else's job would be to check in the book. So four systems all failed miserably for various reasons, uh, mostly because me and because that's just I'm just not that organized. It stresses me out. Uh, I don't like to use the time. I'd rather spend my time talking with kids about books and making sure they have the books that they want, not trying to get the books back that they're not reading anymore. And I'm not saying that you don't want to get the books back because books are expensive and we're teachers. We don't make a lot of money and most schools aren't able to give us the money that we need for our classroom library. So it's important that we get the books back. But my system might not seem like I care about getting the books back. My system is 100% on the honor system. Kids take books whenever they want, as many books as they want, and then they return books, hopefully, and then get other books and take those books home and read those books. So books are coming in and out, books are in lockers. Like a girl just came in with like the most giant stack of books that were in her locker. It was very stressful, but now the books are back. She laughed, I laughed, and the books are back and now kids can read them. I don't have any checkout system. Like it's really that simple. Like. There's a ton of books back here. They take what they want, they read it, and then they bring it back, and then they do it all over again. And I know what my kids are reading because I'm asking them every single day. I'm walking around, I'm talking to them about the books. I am, we're having conferences, um, just little talks, more formal conferences, all kinds of things. So I know what they're reading. And when a book comes missing, somebody knows where it's at. Like when a book that's popular is missing, someone's like, where's, uh, where is, I don't know, uh, I'm all unbound in the bike. Well, Russell was reading and Russell's like, no, then I gave it to Haley. And he's like, well, no, I gave it to Reese. And then, no, I gave it to Breslin. That's not really the way that that book worked, but those were like four names that popped into my head. And then we eventually can track it down. Like we're these little sleuths, like these little detectives. Uh, so that's how we do it here in fifth grade. It works really good for me and my students. Uh, I wanna know what works for you and your students. Like, how can you do this? Like, how can you manage a classroom library? What strategies do you have? What way do you do it? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what system works for you and your students. Always learning, always growing, always trying to meet the needs of these amazing readers in our classrooms. And we've got my kids from lunch because it's the last week of school and we're having fun. And Western Baseball won the district title last week. Four, no, five district titles in school history. One was yesterday, or Saturday, this week it was pretty awesome. I'm just on cloud nine. Great job. Awesome kids. I gotta go get them. See ya. Bye.